Why did God allow the men of faith in the Old Testament to have multiple wives and concubines? And when did God change his mind and make marriage monogamous? Um, I don't think God changed his mind. The truth is that uh, women have babies, and when they have babies, they can't fight wars because they're having babies, and they're looking after their babies, and they need somebody to look after them. That's why husbands are supposed to look after their wives. And uh, it's a man can take care of several wives, whereas one wife can't take care of several husbands. But I think in the early days, there must have been uh, more women than men. And the, the, it was, uh, you know, multiple wives were, were standard stuff in the, in the uh, primitive societies. And they still are in Africa. I, I knew one guy, I think he was a chief or something, who generally had 60 wives. So you say that's a little excessive, and it is. But nevertheless, <laughs> God didn't change his mind, but came the New Testament, and, and Jesus gave the standards of, of marriage. Uh, a man will leave his mother and father, cleave to his wife, and the twain will become one flesh. And so that's the, the, the biblical order of the New Testament. But the culture has changed. God didn't change his mind, but the culture changed. And I, I'm still... A, it, it, I'm not sure I know anything in the Bible that indicates that polygamy as such is, you know, against the Bible. But we don't do it, and a lot of laws that were based on the New Testament don't permit it. So that's the way we are. And praise the Lord for that. Praise the <laughs> Lord. <laughs> well, right. it, it you know, you go to China, and now there are more. There are more men than there are women. There are not enough women to go around. So every wife, maybe she'll have several husbands. <laughs> 